Hi there all to new friends, welcome back. This card making tutorial focuses on the Hibiscus Motif Complete Bundle, new for October 2023. Let's use this statement floral set to create a contemporary take on the Art Nouveau movement. Here is the Hibiscus Motif Complete Bundle. It contains the simple coloring stencil, stamp, and coordinating die sets. This complete bundle can also be extended as part of the full Aesthetic Flora Ensemble. Find out more about this Altenew set over in the description box. I couldn't quite figure out what the illustration in the Hibiscus Motif stamp set reminded me of for a few weeks. Then I took a close look at the book corner shaped images and realized this set gives me Art Nouveau vibes, reminiscent of Alphonse Mucha or Mucha, uh, depending on where you're from, commercial art and posters. I picked three elements of Art Nouveau to make today's card and I'm certain there are alternate substitutions in your crafting stash that can help you make something similar. I started with the background of my card. In my stash, I was looking for an ornate, stained glass, linear, yet organic looking die. I had a few doily type images to choose from from Altenu, but I really liked this ornate cover die as a full and intricate panel. The illustration is also symmetrical, which I found to be an outstanding characteristic of Art Nouveau. If you have the radial circles cover die, that would also be an excellent alternative. Before I die cut the white cardstock, I used the Blue Mountains Fresh Dye Ink Bundle to make a colored cardstock. I used Crystal Violet on one panel. I love using the sticky mats on the stamp wheel for these large ink applications, as it prevents buckling and inky finger transfer. And then I used Indigo Skies on a second panel of white cardstock. I go from lighter to darker value colors so that I don't have to clean my large ink blending tool between colors. I let both panels dry back for a few minutes and then use the ornate cover die to cut the crystal violet cardstock panel. I glued the crystal violet panel to the indigo skies background and set it aside while I worked on the focal elements to this Arts Nouveau card. While studying the Mooka portrait posters, I noticed a well-framed and distinct floral subject. For this card, I wanted that image to be the large hibiscus in hibiscus motif stamp set. I like this image for Art Nouveau because it is bilaterally symmetrical and has bold outlines. The stamp set also includes the book corner motifs with the organic stained glass type illustration that matches the background. I knew these two stamps would be perfect in framing the main hibiscus image. I stamped the hibiscus and two book corner images in permanent black crisp dye ink on white cardstock. After getting solid outlines and before stamping any of the coordinating layers, I used Jet Black Artist Marker to extend the black outline on all the stamped images. I found this extended margin technique to mirror subtle characteristics in Art Nouveau pieces to help focal images come forward. This was quite a tedious task, but it was well worth the final results after die cutting. Before doing that though, I colored the images with the coordinating detail layer stamps and simple coloring stencil. I'm starting with the A1 and C1 petal detail layers and coloring these images with Peachy Keen. This ink is from the Amy Tangerine Fresh Dye Ink Collection. I did the same color on the B1 layer for the hibiscus petal base. Then I used Tangerine Dream on the D1 anther layer. The remaining coloring layers are on the simple coloring stencil. So I used Lemonade Stand to color the solid layer of the hibiscus petals. I added a touch of Tangerine Dream to the petals closer to the sepals, as well as to the stigma and style. Then I colored the stem and petals with Eucalyptus from the Frosted Foliage Fresh Dye Ink set. Then I also colored the two book corner images in Eucalyptus. Then finally I finished the sepal layer with Forest Fern Fresh Dye Ink. 
I used the coordinating dies to cut the colored images and set these aside to work on the next elements for my Art Nouveau card. Again, back to the Mooka posters and other Art Nouveau inspired art, I saw the reoccurring theme of wispy lines and swirling movement throughout the illustration. These lines also broke up the symmetrical focal elements and background embellishments as an asymmetrical statement. To bring that idea to life in this card, I'm using pen-sketched silhouettes and its coordinating dies to create movement. On another panel of white cardstock, I'm coloring a few of these solid images in lemonade stand. Then with a mini ink blending tool and tangerine dream, I'm deepening flower centers with layers of diffused ink. If it's not perfect, that's okay. I think it gives a loose illustrated feel. Then I used forest fern to color in the stems in the same fashion. Again, nothing too exact. Before I die cut the images, I'm using the same jet black artist marker to extend a black margin around the stamped images. This is not an exact form and I'm doing my best to preserve the outlines if I can. Then I used the coordinating dies to cut the three flower clusters I made. Now I can start assembling this card. I glued the ornate cover die background to a folded note card base. I'm going to draft the arrangement of the pen sketched silhouette die cut flowers. Notice the linear movement I have across this card front. Then after gluing the flowers to the background, I'll start foam mounting the hibiscus and book corners to an exact center arrangement. I am raising and tucking the pen sketched flower motifs so that it looks like the hibiscus is being enveloped by the smaller flower images. Then I finish this card with a white teen embossed hello sentiment strip from hibiscus motif on black cardstock. I resisted the urge to add an array of splatter on this card and instead added more sequins following the flowy nature of the bouquet. I loved taking inspiration from Art Nouveau to balance organic shapes and themes with interesting geometric and linear elements. This is the finished card featuring the hibiscus motif complete bundle. Make sure you check out the Altenew blog post linked in the description box to see even more inspiration from this bundle. My series encourages you to shop your existing Altenew stash and rekindle their love with newer releases. Perfect Pairings with JC airs on the Altenew channel every second and fourth Sunday of the month. Please make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for tuning in to this Perfect Pairing episode with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey there, Lydia here. I really do hope that you've just enjoyed the video. If so, please subscribe to the Altenew YouTube channel. Also turn on the notification bell so you can get your daily dose of crafty techniques and tutorials just like this. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.